Isle. I've got a, a very aggressive game of Leela Chess to show you. A very aggressive opening, the Sleeman defense. Now Leela Chess here is ID 467 against Stockfish 6. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. After bishop b5, this is the third most popular try in chess based line book. The super aggressive f5. d3 is played. f takes, d takes, knight f6, white castles, d6, knight c3, bishop e7. Queen d3, which seems to be designed to discourage castling because there's a check and winning a pawn, but this is exactly what Leela plays. Leela castles, check, and white wins a pawn. So is that the end of the story or well, the beginning of the story? Well, bishop g4 is played, which of course protects the rook as well, threatens structural damage. Knight d2, a5 is played, and white plays a4. We have bishop d7. Queen c4 and now c6. As of deep, there's interest in playing d5. Queen e2. And now bishop g4. The bishop provokes a weakness on the diagonal, and it's black that has the. Oh well, white does have a counterpart, but uh, that's a prospect, this diagonal now, to tap into later. The bishop drops all the way back and then goes on to this diagonal with tempo. And now we see the very aggressive d5, so another kind of gambiting of a pawn. White does take on d5 but does not play queen takes e5 here. If we look at queen takes e5 there's a certain amount of compensation. This is an example variation where black can generate actually quite a lot of pressure with the rooks and the bishops combined and in fact this is an interesting line where black can actually crash through potentially with an attack. So it could be a little bit dangerous taking this e5 pawn. So we have knight b3 instead, trying to contain more blacks, counterplay. Queen c7, bishop g5, and then we have e4, king h1. If uh, f takes, then bishop c5 check is good for black. Very dangerous because it'll be things like knight g4 after. So it's too dangerous to take. Uh, uh, we have king h1. E takes f3, G takes, and now a nice move, knight g4, threatening mate and also the bishop. Uh, so to parry this actually, white plays queen g1. We have bishop takes g5, queen takes g4. So the bishop there is with black here against the two knights. h6. Yeah, there's d5 hanging as well, but look at this diagonal, it's a bit dangerous looking. White does not play that to take that pawn. Knight d4. Bishop blocks back. Queen g2. Queen f7. Rook d3. And now this move is symbolic in a way of many of Leela Chess's attacking games. Can you guess what Leela plays here? If I give you five seconds. Black to play. Find a nice attacking move here. <laughs> Okay, rook a6, the rook is ready to rumble over here. Queen f2, rook f6, trebling on f3, b3, bishop f4, rook g1, rook e8, rook g2. So black is looking aggressive, but is anything going to be exploitable here? Rook e5, well, there does seem to be evidence of increased coordination. h2 looks to be a potential problem in the future. But the bishops chase back with that. Now knight g1, queen e7, rook d1, bishop e3, queen g3, king h7, c3. This bishop drops back, so black is kind of probing with the bishop pair at the moment. Queen h4, queen f7, knight d4, rook g6. So white's not minding an exchange of rooks here. Rook takes, queen takes. Black is only a pawn down, but there is a nice blockade, it seems, on d4 here. Black has that dangerous looking bishop here, though. And here, actually, we have rook h5 hitting the queen. Queen g3, rook g5. Queen h4. Queen f6 now. And this is extremely dangerous, this position. Uh, 
in fact white plays a move which doesn't look right but it, it looks like a very dangerous position in any case to try and uh, defend if the queen went back there might be things like bishop h3 for example and the bishops are crisscrossing there that looks extremely dangerous so black um, sorry white played a move which you might think is pretty suspect because what can black play here if I give you five seconds starting from now okay rook g1 check yeah just exposing an attack on the queen uh, but yeah it is an investment of a rook and a bishop so can white be broken down here bishop a6 king g2 check queen f4 h2 is taken and now this pawn is moved f4 bishop takes e2 so queen against rook and knight and equal on pawns but this outside past h pawn is pretty dangerous that could be the thing to watch out for the past h pawn now that pawn is immune because of the check and taking on d5 so rook e3 king f7 uh, we have now king g7 queen g2 queen h1 queen e4 unpinning h3 the pawn is pretty menacing now because of h2 h1 rook f2 queen h1 b4 d4 now b5 and here it was adjudicated as a win for black uh, this pawn I believe is is basically uh, winning black can take and then things like h2 is coming up and eventually uh, white will be broken down so it was adjudicated here as a win for black so a very nice uh, Sleeman game very aggressive opening choice by black and shows some probing with the bishop power actually in this game uh, until white gave up material uh, and that queen against you know two pieces in balance in this scenario with the past h pawn was in black's uh, favor clearly so i hope you got something from that very aggressive opening there set for leaders to try out in this particular gauntlet of very aggressive openings okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much